So this is the Quranic position on the concept of Bida, world of Bida literally and concept of Bida religiously. And this is the highest authority to understand the teachings of Islam and that is Quran. So no hadith of Holy Prophet can be contradictory to the Quranic teachings. I mean no interpretation of hadith. Of course hadith of Holy Prophet cannot be contradictory to Quran. Hadith always explains the Quranic positions. <laughs> hadith always interprets it. But any meaning derived from the hadith wrongly. Those scholars who say that wherever the word bida is used and they consider so every bida is misguidance and it will go in the hellfire. If they take it in a, as a general concept without creating this exception, an exemption which Almighty Allah has created in Quran, in Surah Al-Hadid, verse 27. So, taking it in a general sense, without any exception and exemption, so it would be a direct contradiction with the teachings of Quran. Now there is second word which, as I mentioned, Ihdas and muhdas. It is stated in Hadith, Kullu muhdasatin bid'atun. Every new thing is bidah, and every bidah is misguidance. So this word muhdas from ihdas has also been used in Holy Quran, is also used in Quran. And Quranic verses, Quran itself in Holy Quran has been introduced as muhdas. Quran says whenever new verses are revealed on the people because it was the revelation of Quran was a continuing process. The Quran was not revealed in one night on Holy Prophet Sallallahu it, Its revelation completed in 20, approximately 23 years. More than 22 years. Approximately 23 years. So three to four or five verses but it used to be revealed at one time. So Quran wants to explain whenever new verses come to them and they listen to it, they say something. Whenever new verses according to situation, according to the requirement, according to the necessity of the time, whenever new issue emerged and there was a necessity of explanation of a particular position, so Almighty Allah used to send Jibreel salam, to Holy Prophet with the new message of Quran, with new injunction, with new teaching, with new commandments. So Quran was every day, in every single day, every single week, a part of the Quran, a passage of Quran, few verses of Quran were always coming one after other. So this process of continuously coming of Quranic verses, Quran says, Ma yatihim min zikrim min rabbihim muqdasin illa stama'uhu wa hum yal'abun. This in Surah Al Anbiya, verse 2. And again it comes in Surah Al Shu'ara, verse 5. And Quran says, Wa ma yatihim min zikrim min al Rahman. Zikrim min rabbihim means Quran. Zikrim min rahman this is Quran. Muhdathin illa kanu anhu mu'ridin. Whenever some new admonition comes to them in the form of the verses of Quran, in the form of divine message of Quran, which Almighty Allah reveals on Holy Prophet. So whenever a new admonition, new zikr, new nasiha in the form of Quran comes to them from their Lord, they listen to it with such carelessness as if they are engaged in support. Quran is teaching about the kuffar. They don't pay proper attention to it. Whenever we send a new nasiha admonition, new zikr, new nasiha to them, they don't pay attention to it. And at other places, whenever a new nasiha, muhdasin, a new admonition, nasiha of Quran comes to them, they turn away from it. 
So meaning thereby, here it, at two places, Almighty Allah has mentioned his own verses in Quranic revelation and he has mentioned it as the word muhdasin, zikrin muhdasin. A new admonition. Again, I would like to explain if the word muhdas and muhdasa and al-ihdas and hadasa even the word hadith has the same root which al-ihdas has and muhdasa kullu muhdasatin bid'atun every new thing is bid'ah and the hadith has also the same root hadith is from hadasa it means every act of speech so whenever you speak it is something new because the listener had not heard before it why hadith has been termed hadith for example i am silent and you are not listening from me all of a sudden i started speaking so my act of speech is known as hadith haddastukum ana uhaddisukum haddasana abu huraira haddasana rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam from tahdis and tahdis three letter literal word root word is hadasa it means when he spoke so it was a new new words which you heard from me which you heard from the speaker that's why the act of speech is known as hadith it is a new thing and an act, a jadid act is also known as hadith and hadisa any new accident takes place you say it is hadisa and hawadis any accident which takes place because you never heard of that you never you had never seen it it came into existence all of a sudden so that's why it's this character in coming into existence or appearing all of a sudden as a new act has made it hadith and hadisa and hadas and mudasa so question is what is wrong with it in its origin in its nature what is wrong with it absolutely no if there was any wrong if it was originally and totally an evil concept evil concept then at least almighty allah had not declared his own words of quran as muhdasin and if we don't differentiate between the world and meanings of muhda kullu muhdasatin bid'ah every new thing is a bid'ah invention innovation and every new invention innovation is misguidance and error and dalala and it will go to hellfire if you generalize the whole thing then can you consider that what kind of results you are going to create this world has been applied on quran at least quran has avoided from using this world on the verses of allah on the verses of quran so the first point which i want to make is that the term bid'a and bada'a and the term muhdasa or hadasa originally has no wrong meanings in it it is just a new thing as every new thing can be right or wrong it can be right it can be wrong now i am stepping further if it is good so this muhdas would be good is bid'a would be good a new thing if if it has a bad impact and if it is against quran and sunna if it is against the basic principles of quran and sunna if it is against the basic commandments of sharia then of course it would become wrong so it depends upon its nature its impact the intention of innovator inventor the nature of it so we have to apply it on the principles of sharia in order to decide whether right or wrong so in its origin there is nothing wrong in the root or nature of bid'ah and muhdasa or hadas and bid'ah bada 
So this is the literal discussion in the light of Quran. That's why all Aimma has explained the word al bidatu asluha ma uhdisa ala ghayri misal sabiqin that is hafiz ibn hajar asqalani and no need of quoting there are hundreds of aimma and scholar this is the same literal definition anything